We welcome RNEO's uh, President-elect Vanessa Burkowski. Thank you for sitting down with Registered Nurse Journal and taking the time to answer uh, some questions. First off, why did you become a nurse? Oh, well, it feels like 100 years ago when I made that decision, but I, I recall that um, I had a family member uh, dear to me that um, it was my grandmother who um, I was about maybe 14 when she became ill. Um, we were close and I used to go with my mom constantly to visit her in the hospital and I watched very closely how she was treated by um, nurses in particular. And um, my impression was that nurses had both skill and knowledge and integrity. And I, I knew the feeling of relying very heavily on the nurse to make, not only to make sure that my grandmother got the very best care that she could, but always, but it also made me feel better. And I remember how the nurse would interact with the family as well as the patient. And I thought, you know, this is the kind of profession when you, where you're able to use a combination of knowledge, uh, interactions with people to really make a difference. Um, might be a difference that just happens in that moment in time or it might be a difference that lingers on um, and, and, and grows and transitions into something better, uh, bigger into the community and you know maybe into the system. And, and so that was my first sort of notion that nursing might be, might be for me. Sounds like it was a really transformative experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what did you learn as provincial chief nursing officer that will help you in your role as our president? <laughs> well, um, you know, in that role, I think that um, I had the great oppor opportunity and one of the few opportunities that a nurse will ever have to work uh, in the domain of uh, nursing policy. Um, our domains of practice, uh, you know, whether it's uh, clinical or research or, or education, um, are fairly, um, you know, common domains of practice. They're pretty robust in the, in the system. We see our colleagues working, you know, in academic institutions and across all kinds of clinical settings. Um, so to be the fourth provincial chief nursing officer in Ontario meant that I had this unique role um, that I could learn and grow from in nursing policy. Why did you want to become president of RNEO? Well, um, you know, I talked about the enriching opportunity that I had while I was at the ministry. Um, I really have a passion for policy, and I think it's an area of practice that a lot of nurses don't really understand. Um, and it's so critical because it, what's, it, it is really the foundation of what drives us every day. It enables us to do certain things um, to support our patients and family. It, create, it may be an issue of uh, creating a barrier that we have to break down so that we can better care for patients and family. Um, and to be able to um, use that knowledge and skill and use that experience. And in particular, you know, I developed a lot of resources, both human resources uh, that can uh, be influential in, in shaping the changes that we need. Um, and, uh, you know, just my um, extreme interest, uh, both in, in, in policy and in supporting, um, um, you know, enhanced growth and improvement in healthcare uh, for our patients and, of course, uh, advocating for the role that nurses play. They play a critical role uh, in ensuring that they have all of the tools and supports that enable them to deliver the best quality and safe care that they can is really, you know, is really a, a passion of mine. And so. Um, so for me, it's a perfect fit. What do you hope to achieve as president of RNEO? I would really like to be able to have a critical role in the whole echo piece because the echo piece to me is so important. It means that we can finally um, bring together um, in the right sequence, nurses that can connect patients at the right time, in the right place, um, you know, in an, efficient, in an effective and efficient way to the services that they need 
you know, at that point in time. Um, the system really is fragmented now, and, and primary care is the, you know, it's almost what I would consider the central holding ground, uh, or could be the central holding ground of all of the comprehensive information that is needed to ensure that there are no gaps or redundancies or deficiencies in the care of a patient. And if we could um, enable our um, nurses in the system to provide that care coordination role through our primary care system, then I think many more, many more people will be linked up um, in, 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 a, in a, a way, um, in a much more efficient way to the services uh, that they require. That's going to keep people healthier. That's going to ensure that we are using our resources, our, our very scarce and important healthcare resources appropriately. And final question, what excites you about taking on this kind of leadership role? Oh, I, you know, I think what excites me the most, again, is having the opportunity to, um, to push the kind of changes in the system um, that we need. RNAO has a long history of being able to move uh, really imp uh, important uh, pieces of uh, policy, uh, you know, regulation and even legislation. And to be a part of that uh, for me is just, um, it, it, you know, is, is ju it's, an, it's inspiring for me. It's, um, you know, it, it's what drives me to continue to be a nurse in the system. Um, it, like, it's what keeps me really passionate about, about the profession and, um, and that's what I'm really looking forward to. Thank you. Thanks, Vanessa. You're welcome. Thank you.